The easiest way to understand the link function where in c -sharp is by simply thinking of it as returning true and false. So let me explain to you how this actually works. So here, as you can see, I am creating a list and this list will hold a person class. You can see a person class has the following properties. It has name, town and country. You can see here what we are doing is we are adding an item to our list here and we are creating a person class. And for the person class, each instance that we create, we are assigning a name, we are assigning a town and country. How do we filter this so that we only get records which are either London or the country is Spain? So how do we filter these in C sharp? This is where the where function comes in really, really handy. So here I said you can think of it as returning true and false. And you can see here, this is a lambda expression. This is basically going to pass in P. What is P? You might say P is basically each person in our list. So you can see here, this is a people list. So here, that's where we create the people list. And and within that, there are four people. So what we do is for each person, we say if the town equal to London or if the country equal to Spain. So we're checking this is an or condition over here. So either London or Spain, both of them are fine. And as you can see from the data we have, we have only one person that is London and we only have one person to Spain. This expression here, this is known as a lambda expression, just returns true or false. How I think of it is, think of it as like a function. You can do it this way as well. So the where function can take in function that basically returns true or false and this expression over here that that's all it's doing so if we have a look at if from london or spain function you can see it takes in a person class this is very similar to the lambda expression it takes in a p a p and then you're checking the properties within here and if you look at the function over here that's what we're doing it's returning if the town is london or the country is spain and notice how this here basically returns true or false and in effect just returning true or false which gets passed here so for each item within the people list is going to run that function over here is going to check if it's London or Spain and then return a true or false if it's true then basically that person will be kept so it will be true here this will be kept true over here it'll be kept but the ones here are false and false so those would not get included by the where function and then get filtered out so that is why or how the where function works just think of it as returning true or false storing the filtered list in this variable over here here or you could do it the using the lambda expression and then i'm just going to output the records and you can see here ali over here is london so that's why this matches this criteria so that returns it true and then you can see here jamie for spain is selected because his country is Spain, even though the town is madrid but since again it's the or condition over here this record gets selected and that's all this where function which is an extension of the link language within c sharp that's all it's doing